Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. When the National Hockey League shifts its attention from the regular season to the Stanley Cup playoffs, the handful of teams who make a deep run into the postseason are often able to do so thanks to an impressive performance from a surprising member on their roster. Whether it's career 30-point scorer Fernando Pisani potting 14 goals during the 2006 playoffs, sophomore forward Ville Leno scoring 21 points in 19 games during the 2010 playoffs, or even Matt Murray winning back-to-back -back championships while still being classed as a rookie, each postseason sees an unlikely hero rise to the occasion and embrace their moment under the spotlight. I mean, we just saw third-string goaltender Michael Hutchinson help the Colorado Avalanche come one win away from the Stanley Cup Finals, which was then immediately overshadowed by Dallas Stars rookie Yol Kiviranta scoring a hat-trick in Game 7 of the series to lead his team to the final round. The playoffs are crazy, folks. Though these surprising stars are unable to replicate their success in the years that follow, most if not all of them will find a spot on an NHL roster for several seasons after their career-defining performance, either in the hope that they might once again reach that same dominant level, or due to them playing a different yet equally effective role for their team. However, one player would find himself on the other side of the world just two years after his championship-clinching heroics. This is the story of Devontae smith pelly From Stanley Cup to China. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes to help you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, or get lost in creativity. Skillshare has thousands of online classes in a wide variety of topics such as graphic design, creative writing, photography, and so much more. My personal favourite has been the Learn Premiere Pro and edit a how-to video for beginners in their film and video topic, as I've been wanting to learn some new editing tricks in order to make my video stand out from the crowd that little bit more, and it's great that I can simply log on, find a class in the exact topic that I need, and learn from someone who clearly knows what they're talking about. Not only that, there are no ads anywhere on Skillshare's platform, and they are always launching new premium classes, so you'll never have to watch a commercial mid-class, and you can instead focus on learning the most up-to-date information in your chosen field. If joining a community like this sounds like your cup of tea, boy do I have just the deal for you! The first 1,000 people who click the link in the description or the pinned comment of this video will get access to a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. That way you can try before you buy, and maybe even learn something new along the way. So if you're interested in picking up a new skill, taking a talent to the next level, or getting lost in all things creativity, click the link in the description or the pinned comment down below, and enjoy a free trial to Skillshare's premium membership on me. You're welcome, folks. Skillshare. Explore your creativity. But anyway, back to the video. In order to tell this tale, allow me to take you back to June 26, 2010, when Canadian forward Devontae smith pelly who had spent the prior 09-10 season with the OHL's Mississauga Majors and scored 62 points in 60 regular season games, was selected 42nd overall in the second round of the NHL draft by the Anaheim Ducks. Though his point-per-game production in juniors was impressive enough on its own, smith pelly's strong scoring numbers were equally matched by his physical prowess, as his tireless work ethic and bang-and-crash playing style meant that the teenager was just as likely to battle along the boards or throw a huge open ice hit as he was to score a highlight reel goal. Of course, he still had a ways to go before he was ready for the NHL, as his consistency from one game to the next still needed some work, but if the power forward's development continued on its upward trend, he would find himself in the bigs in no time. And find himself there, he would. Following his selection at the draft, smith pelly would return to Mississauga's roster for the 10-11 season, as Anaheim loaned him to the OHL for the entire year. Having rejoined the team for his third season in juniors, the 19-year-old would pick up right where he left off and continue to light the lamp on a regular basis, as he potted 36 goals and 66 points in 67 games. 
Not only would he register his most productive season in the league, Smith Pelly's 21 points in 20 playoff games would also help the Majors make it all the way to the OHL playoff finals, but they lost in seven games to the Owen Sound Attack. Despite falling at the final hurdle, Smith Pelly's strong season wasn't done just yet, as his six points in five games during the 2011 Memorial Cup tied him for second in scoring, while also earning him a place on the All-Star team as one of the top players at the event. So yeah, he had a pretty good year for himself. Though he was eligible to play another year in juniors during the following 11-12 season, Smith Pelly had no intentions of returning to the OHL. In fact, the 20-year-old would attend Anaheim's preseason training camp and earn a spot on the Ducks' opening night roster after forcing his way up the depth chart by impressing the coaching staff with his improved play. So thanks to him refining his overall game during his extra year in juniors and producing a strong performance during preseason, Devontae smith Pelly would soon be making his NHL debut. From there, the Canadian forward would suit up with the Ducks for the very first time, but he would struggle to translate his high-scoring play from the juniors to the pros, as he registered just five points in his first 26 games in the league. This slump prompted Anaheim to loan Smith Pelly to Team Canada for the 2012 World Junior Championships, but the forward would end up playing just a single game at the event thanks to breaking a bone in his left foot during his debut game. Talk about bad luck, eh, folks? However, instead of returning to Anaheim right away, Smith Pelly decided to remain with the team for the rest of the tournament, where he would end up receiving a bronze medal after Canada finished in third place. So all in all, the whole experience could have been better, but it could have been worse. Once he had returned to Anaheim and recovered from his injury, Smith Pelly would go on to play the rest of the year with the Ducks, except for a four-game stint in the minors, and score at a slightly stronger pace by potting eight points in his final 23 games, meaning he concluded his rookie year in the league with a respectable seven goals and 13 points in 49 games. Though he would produce similar scoring numbers every year for the rest of his pro career, Thanks to his strong physical play and his tireless work ethic, the power forward would end up playing in the NHL for quite some time. The next two years of Smith Pelly's career would see him continue to suit up in the Ducks organization, but instead of returning to Anaheim's roster, he would find himself in the minors. Thanks to the 2012 lockout postponing the season until early January and his overall game clearly needing further improvement, the forward would spend the majority of the 12-13 and 13-14 seasons with Anaheim's AHL affiliate, the Norfolk Admirals, where he would waste little time becoming a key member of the roster by notching 41 goals and 75 points in 120 AHL games. Not only would these numbers secure his place at the top of the Ducks prospect pool, Smith Pelly's strong performance would also help him make a greater impact in the bigs when he was eventually called up to Anaheim during this span. Though he would go scoreless in seven games during the 12-13 NHL season, the former second round pick would register 10 points in 19 games during the 13-14 season and even earn his first trip to the Stanley Cup playoffs, where he added a further five goals in 12 games before the Ducks were eliminated in the second round. So although he had dropped a few places on the depth chart and spent the majority of his time in the minors, over the course of this time frame, Smith Pelly had refined his game against weaker competition, learned more about what it takes to be successful at the pro level, and become a more effective player on the Ducks roster. However, he wouldn't be sticking around the team for much longer. The 14-15 season would see Smith Pelly return to the Ducks after signing a two-year, $1.6 million contract with the team, earn a spot on Anaheim's roster out of training camp, and begin the season in the NHL for just the second time in four years. After scoring 17 points in his first 54 games of the season, the forward's time in California had unfortunately come to an end, as on February 24th, 2015, Anaheim traded Smith Pelly to the Montreal Canadiens in exchange for forward Yuri Sekag. 
Having left the only NHL team he had ever known, nearly half a decade after they had drafted him, the 23-year-old would go on to spend the rest of that year, as well as most of the following season with the Habs, and though his physical play would keep him in the lineup and continue to make him a presence on the ice, he would struggle to find his rhythm offensively, as he registered just 15 points in 66 regular season games and 3 points in 12 playoff games. With the 2016 trade deadline fast approaching, and with him notching 12 points in his first 46 games of the year, Smith Pelly would find himself on the move once again, as he was shipped off to the New Jersey Devils on February 29th, 2016, in exchange for forward Stefan Matteau. Having been traded by his team for the second time in two years, Smith Pelly would spend the rest of the 15-16 season with the Devils, and though he was expected to play at a similar level compared to years past, the former second round pick would end up making a great first impression with his new team. In fact, during his final 18 games of the regular season, Smith Pelly would go on to score 13 points in that span, bringing his full season totals to 14 goals and 25 points in 64 games. Not only would these numbers set his career highs for goals, assists, and points, it would also earn him another contract with New Jersey, as they signed him to a two-year, $2.6 million deal on July 1, 2016. So after spending the last few years bouncing around from team to team, Smith Pelly's strong end to the season had not only secured him one of the larger paydays of his career, he had seemingly found a more permanent home on an NHL roster. Unfortunately though, this contract wouldn't reach its intended conclusion. The 16-17 season would see Smith Pelly return to the Devils lineup and embark on his first full year with the team. Though he was expected to pick up right where he left off and continue scoring at his recent strong pace, to say that the 25-year-old struggled would be the understatement of the year, as he finished the season with just 9 points and a plus-minus of minus 19 in 53 regular season games. As you might expect, this sudden regression left many fans wondering what had caused this steep decline in his play. After all, how did a guy who showed such promise during his first stint with the team take such a huge step backwards only a few months later? Well, not long after the season was over, it was revealed that Smith Pelly had been playing through a lower body injury for the entire year. According to Smith Pelly himself, the forward had approached New Jersey's coaching staff back in October and told them that he was suffering from a nagging injury, and though the Devils never specifically forced him to play, he felt like he needed to push through the pain and continue suiting up for the team. As the season progressed and his injury got worse, things got so bad to the point where the forward could barely move before he decided to undergo surgery and miss the final 15 games of the season. So not only did he produce one of the worst seasons of his entire NHL career, Smith Pelly had seemingly been convinced to remain on the roster despite suffering from a pretty debilitating injury all year long. Yeah, nice going there, devils. If that wasn't bad enough though, Smith Pelly would soon discover that his time in New Jersey was over, as it was revealed that the devils had bought out the final year of his contract on June 30th, 2017. Sure, the guy may have produced terrible numbers that year, but the team had decided to cut him loose after they had likely encouraged him to play through an injury that left him unable to move by the end of the year. Of course, I can understand why a team would want to move on from an injury-riddled, unproductive player, but when his recent struggles in both of those departments were potentially impacted by the decisions your team made, Buying him out and leaving him unemployed isn't exactly the most honourable thing to do now, is it, folks? Having become an unrestricted free agent a full year before he was expecting to, Smith Pelly would soon find another team interested in his services, as he signed a one-year, two-way contract with the Washington Capitals on July 3rd, 2017. So after leaving New Jersey prematurely after a year and a half in their organization, Smith Pelly was looking to get his career back on track as he moved to his fourth team in the last four seasons. Thanks to his performance over the coming year, the forward would produce the season of a lifetime. The 17-18 season saw a much healthier Smith Pelly join the Capitals organization and look to prove that he still belonged on an NHL roster. 
After impressing the team's coaching staff during their preseason training camp, the former second round pick would earn a place on the team and suit up in his seventh year in the league. Though he would find himself in the press box as a healthy scratch at several points during the season, thanks to his tireless work ethic, his strong physical play, and his point production rebounding from his injury riddled year prior, Smith Pelly would not only spend the entire season with the Capitals, he would look like his old self again, as he scored 7 goals and 16 points in 75 regular season games. Not the greatest numbers of his career of course, but considering he also managed to improve his plus minus from minus 19 to just minus 6, he clearly made some modest yet notable strides forward in his overall game. Now if you thought his bounce back year during the regular season was impressive enough, Smith Pelly's performance during the 2018 Stanley Cup playoffs would cement his place in Capitals history. Despite scoring 5 points in 19 games during the first 3 rounds of the postseason, Washington's final series against the Vegas Golden Knights would see the Canadian forward produce the most clutch performance of his entire pro career. After going scoreless in the first two games, Smith Pelly would somehow find himself on a scoring streak during the latter half of the series, as he registered a goal in each of the next three games. In fact, his lone tally during game five would tie the score midway through the third period and help Washington go on to win the game 4-3, take the series in five, and clinch the 2018 Stanley Cup. So after seven years of hard work and determination, seven years of being forced to prove he belonged in the bigs after numerous setbacks, Devontae smith pelly had just been crowned a Stanley Cup champion. Not only that, he had somehow managed to score the same number of goals in the playoffs as he did in the regular season despite a third of the games played, while his performance during the finals was instrumental in securing Washington their first cup in franchise history. Now that's how you rebound from an injury riddled year folks. As you might expect, Smith Pelly's recent heroics would secure him another contract with Washington soon after their championship run had come to an end, as the Capitals signed him to a one year, one million dollar contract on June 27th, 2018. So thanks to him finding his rhythm again and producing a clutch performance during the finals, Smith Pelly would be sticking around with the winning side for a little while longer. However, things wouldn't go as well the second time around. The 1819 season would see Smith Pelly return to the Capitals roster and look to help the team go all the way once again. Unfortunately though, the forward didn't put himself in the best position to succeed, as he reportedly turned up to training camp visibly out of shape. I would imagine that the shorter off season that comes with winning the cup and the various celebrations attached to such an achievement likely put Smith Pelly's usual summer training regime on the back burner, hence why he wasn't as ready as he usually was once training camp finally rolled around. The need to play catch up even after the season had begun meant that Smith Pelly struggled to perform at the same level or compete with the same intensity as his debut year with the team as the 27 year old scored just 8 points in his first 54 games of the season. This disappointing play, coupled with the competition for roster spots in the Capitals bottom 6, prompted Washington to make a change, as they placed Smith Pelly on waivers on February 20th 2019. Though the rest of the league all had the chance to acquire him for nothing in return, Smith Pelly's clear step back from one year to the next meant that he went unclaimed by the other 30 NHL teams and was instead assigned to the Capitals AHL affiliate, the Hershey Bears. So after helping Washington lift their first Stanley Cup less than a year ago, Smith Pelly had lost his place on the Capitals roster and had been demoted to the minors for the first time since 2014. Talk about a fall from grace. Once he had joined Hershey's roster, Smith Pelly would end up spending the rest of the season with the team, and though spending a prime year of his career down in the minors wasn't exactly ideal for him, the forward made the best of his difficult situation. Thanks to facing weaker competition on a nightly basis, and playing in the team's top six forward core, the former second round pick would produce a strong end to the season, as he potted 14 points in 20 AHL games. 
In fact, these improved numbers would earn Smith Pelly another chance on the Capitals roster as he was called up to the team during the 2019 playoffs. But despite playing with the same fire as his 2018 cup run, he ended up going scoreless in three games as the champions were unable to defend their title. After his one-year contract had expired, and having spent the latter half of the year predominantly in the minors, it appeared as if Smith Pelly's time in the NHL might be coming to an end. Though Washington had considered re-signing him for the upcoming season, despite his recent performance, the Capitals eventually decided that it was time for the two parties to go their separate ways. Having become an unrestricted free agent for the second time, and with him producing the least productive season of his entire NHL career, Smith Pelly would have to work hard if he wanted another opportunity in the league, as he signed a PTO contract with the Calgary Flames on September 4th, 2019. However, after spending three weeks with the Flames and going scoreless in four preseason games, the former second round pick didn't receive a full time contract with the team, as he was released from his tryout deal on September 28th. Having become a UFA once again, and with there being little to no interest in signing him from the other teams across the league, Smith Pelly decided that instead of heading back to the minors, he would take his talents overseas instead, as on October 25th, 2019, he signed a one-year contract with Kunlun Red Star of the KHL. So less than two years after lifting the greatest trophy in the sport, Devontae Smith Pelly was taking his talents to the other side of the world in order to spend the next year of his career in China. In fact, Smith Pelly's season with the Capitals in 1819 would be the last time he would suit up in the NHL at the time of this recording, meaning that after parts of eight seasons in the best league in the world, the 28-year-old had scored a grand total of 44 goals and 101 points in 395 regular season games, along with 16 points in 51 playoff games. Not the greatest numbers of course, but considering he spent most of his career as a bottom six forward and got his name engraved on the Stanley Cup, he certainly could have done a lot worse for himself, eh folks? Now I imagine that some of you watching this might think that Devontae smith Pelly's NHL career was nothing special, and in a way you might be right. After all, he never scored more than 25 points in a single season, he produced a positive plus minus just once, and he isn't even known as a one season wonder, he's a one round wonder. That said, while he never scored at a point per game pace or received any individual awards, Smith Pelly did a lot of things right that never showed up on the box score. Of course, if he was known purely as a goal scorer, then his NHL career would have been much shorter and far more disappointing overall, but as a high energy power forward who threw the body, battled along the boards, forechecked hard and put the work in on each and every shift of each and every game, Smith Pelly may have struggled to put the puck in the net, but he was more than capable of bringing value to a team's bottom six, hence why he was able to stick around in the league for so long. Would he have liked to translate his scoring numbers from the juniors to the pros? Of course he would. Did he live up to his potential as a second round draft pick? Maybe, maybe not. Was his NHL career a success though? Well, considering he played nearly 400 regular season games, earned over $6 million during that span, and played a pivotal role in helping Washington lift their first Stanley Cup championship, it sounds pretty successful to me, you know. Following his departure from North America, Devontae Smith Pelly would make the move to China and join Kunlun's roster for the remainder of the 2019 20 KHL season. Serving his usual role as a checking line forward in the team's bottom six, the Canadian would produce similar scoring numbers to the rest of his pro career, as he potted eight goals and 11 points in 36 games. Interestingly though, Smith Pelly would also register 40 penalty minutes that year, which was his highest single season total since his final stint with the Norfolk Admirals back in 2014. So either he took some time to adjust to the European style of play, or he decided to drop the gloves a lot more often than usual. Once the regular season had concluded and his contract with Kunlun had expired, news surrounding Smith Pelly seemed to go radio silent. With the current global pandemic postponing the start of the 2021 season across the hockey world, 
it appeared as if Smith Pelly was taking an extended break from the sport, as the free agent decided to wait until play resumed before he signed a contract with a new team. That way, he didn't have to wait several months to get started after committing to an organisation, and he could weigh up all of his options to find the best route forward for his career. After several months of patience and consideration, the forward finally made a decision. On March 13th, 2021, Smith Pelly signed an amateur tryout deal with the AHL's Ontario Reign. So almost a full calendar year after playing his final game in Beijing, Smith Pelly had returned back across the pond in order to continue his career much closer to home. In the days and weeks after his signing, Smith Pelly has taken to the ice with Ontario and has begun to find his footing again after a lengthy hiatus from the sport. With a single assist in three games and a plus one rating at the time of this recording, he may not have hit the ground running, but he is showing that he can still provide value to a pro hockey team. Depending on his performance over the next few weeks, Smith Pelly will either re-sign with Ontario and spend the rest of the year with the team, or he will find himself back in the unemployment line if things don't work out. Given his early results and his lengthy track record in both the NHL and the AHL, I fully expect him to land a gig for the rest of the season, whether that be with the rain or elsewhere in the league. So, will Devontae smith Pelly remain in Ontario for the rest of the year? Will he end up taking his talents elsewhere? Or will he look to make a comeback during the 21-22 season instead? I guess time will tell, folks. Regardless of how things turn out though, there's no denying that Smith Pelly's career has been one hell of a roller coaster ride up until this point. And that's the story of Devontae Smith Pelly's journey from Stanley Cup to China. What do you guys think about Smith Pelly's career so far? Do you think he will continue his career in the minors and or overseas, or do you think the 28-year-old deserves another chance on an NHL roster? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think, but thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! A big thank you to Carl Fairbank, Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Drew Fawcett, Houston NG, Jordan Whitehead, Saturn Otaku, The Legacy, Tom from Finland, Twin Sanity Dad, and Worthless Pieces for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.